Welcome fellow foragers! In today's video, we will be discussing the incredible Russian olive, aka sliver berry, autumn berry, and wild olive. We are going to talk about the Russian olive tree's history, its nutrition facts, its many uses, and its amazing healing compounds. Be prepared to be amazed, and be sure to stick around to the end for bonus tips on foraging and harvesting this wonderful edible. So let's start foraging. But first, please take just a moment to like, subscribe, and ring the bell. It really means a lot. Thank you. So a brief history of Russian olive tree or Eliagnus angustifolia. It's native to Europe and Western Asia. It was introduced to the United States in the late 1800s as an ornamental shrub or small tree. It was widely distributed in the drier regions of the Great Plains and Rocky Mountains. The Russian olive tree was recommended for wildlife plantings, soil stabilization, and windbreaks. The Russian olive tree was not regarded as an invasive plant with negative connotations until recently. It invades open areas, including wet areas. It uses water more quickly than native species and can dry out riparian areas. It also alters nutrient cycling by adding nitrogen to the soil. The Russian olive tree has also been used as an herbal medicine. It has been used as an analgesic, antipyretic, diuretic. The tree's common name, Russian olive oleaster, comes from its similarity in appearance to the olive olea europea. Russian olive is also called autumn olive, autumn berry, silver berry, oleaster, and wild olive. The berries turn fiery red in autumn and taste nothing like a savory olive. They are sweet when fully ripe and sweet and sour just before becoming fully ripe. Here's a tried and true tip. Russian olive and or autumn berry make an incredibly awesome fruit leather, so give it a try. Russian olive or Eliagnus angustifolia has many uses, including medicine used to treat a variety of conditions such as wound healing, gastric disorders, kidney disorders, anti-diarrhea, anti-inflammatory, astringent, carminative, antitussive, joint and arthritic pain relievers. Wood from the Russian olive tree is used as fuel, gum, and resin. It's also used to make tables, chairs, picture frames, vanities, mirror frames, knife scales, bowls, and pens to name a few. Fruit is used as a base in fruit beverages, assorted berry recipes, and as a great source of honey. It's also used as an ornamental species in drier regions, and it's used for cover and protection for wildfowl and game birds. It's also used as a soil conditioner creating nitrogen-rich soil. As you can see, the Russian olive tree has many uses, all of which help to sustain life in many ways and forms. The nutrition facts for the Russian olive tree and or wild olive tree are incredible. The Russian olive tree's silver berry and or autumn berry is jam-packed with micronutrients and macronutrients making them a great source of nutrition. And did I mention that they are delicious? Here is an excerpt of research published in the National Library of Medicine on Russian olive compounds. The Russian olive extracts contain a variety of compounds such as flavonoids and alkaloids, simple sugars, and complicated sterols. Flavonoids, which are commonly referred to vitamin P, are a large set of polyphenolic compounds with a benzogamma pyrone structure and are found exclusively in plants. They can be categorized in different classes like flavones, flavonols, flavonons, flavonols, isoflavones, and flavon-3 oils. In the pulp of Russian olive, four glycosylated flavonoids identified quercetin 3 4 feet o beta d diglucoside isohemnitin 3 o beta d galactopyronoside Flavonoids play a major role in oxidative stress response and are also used as growth regulators. There are many more flavonoids in the research, but due to time constraints, I'll refer you to the published links in the description for a more in-depth review. The most significant sterol of Russian olive is beta-cetosterol. It is found mainly in seeds, leaves, and tree branches. Vitamins and minerals play a major role in the medical properties of E. angustifolia. Vitamin A and K are oleophilic vitamins available in the methanol extract of the flowers of the plant. B vitamins are also present in the flowers. The highest concentration of a mineral element in this plant belongs to potassium with a concentration of 8,504 mg over kilogram. Second and third highest levels belong to sodium and phosphorus with 1,731 and 635 mg over kilogram respectively. Calcium is also found with high levels in this plant, and traditionally the flowers of Russian olive were considered a good source of calcium ion among people of Iran. Amino acids such as aspartic acid, threonine, serine, glutamine, proline, glycine, alanine, valine, and some others were observed as well. 
So as you can see, there has been a great deal of research into the Russian olive tree and it turns out that it is extremely beneficial to your health. Russian olive isn't just nutritious, it has also been shown to be beneficial to your health. Russian olive or Eliagnus angustifolia has been traditionally used in various cultures for a variety of medicinal purposes. Here are a few. Wound healing and gastric disorders. Russian olive was used as an anti-ulcer remedy for wound healing and sometimes gastric disorders. Tonic, antipyretic, kidney disorder healing, and anti-diarrhea. In Turkish folklore, Russian olive roots were used as a tonic, antipyretic, kidney disorder healing agent, or anti-inflammatory and or kidney stone treatment, and anti-diarrhea or astringent. Fever, jaundice, asthma, tetanus, and rheumatoid arthritis. In ancient Iran, Iranian apothecaries taught that a decoction of Russian olive roots was a good remedy for fever, jaundice, asthma, tetanus, and rheumatoid arthritis. In general, it was used as a first-line substitute for any anti-inflammatory and analgesic agent. Diuretics and antipyretic agents. The leaves and fruits of the Russian olive plant were also famous as diuretics and antipyretic agents. Appetizer. In Turkey, it was common to eat the fruits of the Russian olive plant an hour before a meal as an appetizer. Russian olive or Eliagnus angustifolia is a plant that has been used in traditional medicine for centuries to treat wounds and infections. Modern research has shown that Russian olive has potent wound healing and antimicrobial properties. Russian olive fruit extracts can accelerate wound closure and improve histological scores or epidermis regeneration, collagen deposition, and proliferation. It can also control pain and inflammation and inhibit cyclooxygenases 1 and 2. Russian olive has a potent antibacterial property comparable with mepirocin 2% with added antioxidant activity. Phenolic compounds, mostly flavonoids, are responsible for these effects. Vitamin A also plays important roles in wound healing, and Russian olive is a good source of this vitamin. Russian olive has been shown to have antimicrobial activity against a variety of bacteria and fungi. In one study, its leaf extract was used to treat mastitis pathogens in domestic animals. In another study, it was shown to be effective against four hospital germs, Staphylococcus aureus, Streptococcus pyogens, Klebsiella pneumoniae, and Escherichia coli. As promised in the beginning of this video, here are some forging tips when harvesting the Russian olive silvery leaves and fiery autumn berries. Wear protective gear such as safety glasses, long pants or skirt, long sleeve shirt, and gloves. They do have thorny branches. If not on your land, be sure to get permission before harvesting. When harvesting, make sure you're not doing so next to roadways as all edibles, including apples, etc. will have pollutants from vehicle emissions. And finally, take the family along and have a blast foraging together. So just to recap, the Russian olive tree has many uses, including medicine. It has been used to treat a variety of conditions, including wound healing, gastric disorders, kidney disorders, and joint and arthritic pain. Food. The fruit of the Russian olive tree is edible and can be used to make jellies, sherbets, and other food products. Ornamental. The Russian olive tree is often planted as an ornamental tree in drier regions. Wildlife habitat. The Russian olive tree provides cover and protection for wildfowl and game birds. Soil conditioner. The Russian olive tree creates nitrogen-rich soil. The Russian olive tree is also a valuable source of nutrients. It is rich in vitamins, minerals, flavonoids, and other beneficial compounds. Modern research has shown that Russian olive has potent wound healing and antimicrobial properties. It has also been shown to be effective against a variety of bacteria and fungi. That's all for today. We hope you enjoyed today's video. Please remember to like, subscribe, share, and leave us a comment. Let us know how we are doing and drop us an idea for a video that you would like to see us cover. Until next time, health enthusiasts, stay healthy!